welcome back okay so today i'm going to show you what it's like to clean up after a client leaves <sighs> so i'm still perfecting this method because doing their hair already takes time and then when they leave you can't just like go to bed or do your own thing you kind of got to clean up first so you're going to see me put some stuff back um my name is tiana hicks i do a bunch of things on this channel Following my micro locks journey is the biggest, mainest, biggest thing on here. But I do do a bunch of other things too, as well as follow other lock journeys and micro lock journeys as well. So today I'm going to show you what it's like to clean up after my client. Don't forget to give me a comment down below when you stop by. Don't forget to thumbs up. Those thumbs up are so important. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content go ahead and subscribe all right so i already put back my bear now the place is only a little out of sorts because they did have children so and the pillows is so cute because people always try to put these pillows back and i think it's simple but to them it's not that simple so i'm also putting back the towels that i use this is the microfiber towel that i use on their hair which i absolutely love because it kind of dries the hair out um you know before i even get started but back to these pillows so they asked me how the pillows went and i told them and this was their version of it which is not bad they're in the right order but they're not quite right so i'm gonna straighten out and fluff these pillows a little bit and i'm gonna pick up this bear Today is bring your stuffed animal to school day for just my class. So I decided I'm going to take my bear too. And I think that should be fun for me too. Add some excitement to my day as well. All right. So we're going to straighten up the pillows and put them back in the correct order. Just trying to make sure the camera angle is as best as I can get it here. I had to move this camera around a whole lot, y'all. A whole lot. But hopefully you still enjoy the video. So, yeah, pushing some of those pillows down. These pillows on this couch are so super, super duper thick. So, we're just going to go ahead and put those in order. Now, I also forgot to show you where I spray it down. I do have, like, a spray, like a sanitizing spray that I put on, like, the couch and the chairs that I use and um, even a bathroom even a bathroom after they leave I try to spray like the sink the toilet that type of thing sometimes I can be such a germaphobe so when you have different people in your living space especially during this time I try to be as safe as possible and sanitize things as much as possible all right so the pillows are fixed a little bit more straight and just making sure the couch is sufficiently pushed together now we're moving on to putting my best friend back, the dryer, my best hair friend, <laughs> back. And she goes in this closet that I absolutely love, y'all. This closet is so huge. I have so many things in there. And I actually made a video showing you how I organized this closet. But, you know, it's one of those many, many bajillion things in my draft. But it goes right there against the wall. And I just push it down so that I can reach the light. But other than that, it is good to go. And that's where it stays nice and safe and out the way. Now, this is the part that I would have done as soon as, well, part of this is the part. As soon as I was done, I would have finished washing their hair and I would have started putting some of these things away. I did move my flower vase back because usually when children are over, I just don't want them to break my face, y'all. So I moved that out the way because it does sit kind of low in the living room. So I'm going to go ahead and start straightening it up. And then I'm going to unhook this, um, I don't, shampoo thing. I don't know what to call it right now, but this is what I use so that I can shampoo so that, you know, I can move the water all around. I'm just going to unhook that and move the shampoo bowl out of my way for a little bit so that I can work on the bin. And what I have learned, and I'll show you later, is that to stop leaving the clips that I'm using with all the clips I'm not using. So if you look in that gray jar, you'll see the box of clips there. And I kind of always have an empty drawer. There goes the box of clips. I always have an empty drawer in my little thing that I have all my hair products in so that I can use for the actual day. So those are all the clips I use. I had to do a retwist on kind of large micro locks. 
I mean, on kind of large locks. So I only have to sanitize and clean those. So I'm just going to put some barbicide in there and clean that out. And then I actually clean it right in that bucket because it just makes it easier. That way I can clean the clips. And when I finish, I can clean a bucket and make sure the bucket is nice and clean too. And so I do try to do um, clean the shampoo bowl and things right after the client. But I wanted to put these in because they do have to sit a bit before I can take them out of the solution. But the good part is I don't have to clean everything. I used to like mix everything up and then I'll be stuck cleaning a bunch of clips that I never even used. So that helps me know how, about how many clips I use and it keeps me from cleaning the whole entire thing. All right, now we're cleaning the part. Now this is usually the area where I actually do the client's hair at. And this is my little, y'all, I can't think of no words right now, but this is my thing, <laughs> which has all my hair supplies. And as you can see, one bucket is missing. And that bucket that I have pulled out is the clip bucket. So they'll go back in there, the large ones, and then the small ones will go in the little box that I showed you. So I usually have to straighten this area up. I do try to keep that cart next to me because I put the bucket right on top and I work from out of there and I just keep it on my right side. So that it makes it easier to kind of get the products out or the clips out or whatever it is that I need. It's kind of all right there. And now we're going to move this cart back because it does not go there. It goes over here in the corner. And then I have to put my mannequins back on. These mannequins are supposed to be to show you how to do certain hairstyles. I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I think also because I don't want to do a hairstyle. And then I have to take it out. And they didn't even wear it outside. They don't even plan on going outside with their hairstyle or nothing. They're just going to sit in the house. And that, you know, I'm not, I'm not ready to bear that fact just yet. But yeah, that's how that cart sits over there. And my mannequins wear those two hats because I can't think of any other place to put those hats at the moment. That light is the light that I usually use for all of my videos to kind of give you an extra brightness and it is the light that I use for the clients but it has a little foot thing at the bottom so I think I accidentally clicked it on there. I'm just moving some knickknacks that I kept over there like my charger, spray bottle, put my candles back up there and turning the chair around and then this spot is basically all fixed. I had two of those pink chairs so the other one I had next to the dryer but I had moved that earlier. And again, this is the part that I do right when I'm done because usually I want the client to sit for like a minute or two with the microfiber towel on. And while they're doing that, I have time to wipe off this, um, <laughs> I can't think of no words, but this, um, shower head type thing and the shampoo bowl so that it's ready and they can start drying up so that it's ready for the next person. So I try to clean everything as soon as possible so that it can be as clean as possible and so that it's ready. And again, you know, once they leave, you're usually tired. A lot of the styles that I do, especially now that I'm still working, I have to do a lot of these styles after work. So I'd be ready to go right to bed when I finish. So I try to clean up as much as I can along the way. This part is probably the part I have to do at the very, very end because it's going to include all of the clips and things. So now after I rinse out the solution, so I rinse it again after I put the solution, I just kind of rinse them and let them sit for a bit. And then I put them down on a paper towel because I notice that if I don't put it down on a paper towel and kind of give it a moment to properly dry it is it i think i had one set that got like rusted because i didn't properly prepare it to dry so now i know put it down on a paper towel and then i also take another paper towel and kind of start going through the clips so i like try to wipe the inside just a little bit doesn't have to be perfect but enough to get the extra moisture off of it because i don't want them to rest I want them to still look nice. And again, I want them to be used. When I finish with these, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back into that drawer that I had showed you um, that's inside of the cart with all of the clips. And the large ones kind of sit out in a drawer by themselves. And then the small ones, they go in a little box. The only thing I had to use um, was that comb there. So I used the comb to clean up her parts. And then the scrunchie was just to hold her extra locks while I was working on a certain section. So... For large locks, I really don't use a lot of product um, and a lot of different tools. And for micro locks, 
I think for micro locks, mm, I don't use the large clips. I use some of the small clips, but it's a little bit less. But y'all, I used to have all the clips mixed up to where I would have to watch every single one because like I said, sometimes I get real germaphobe and I have to know that I kind of sanitized and washed them before I put them in someone else's hair. So I hope my clients appreciate it. I do try to clean it all up. And like I said, I try to spray the couches and the chairs and all that fun stuff with um, a solution as well. So that will be sanitized as well. Don't forget to thumbs up and to like and to comment um, let me know if you need to know any of these products and where they're from. Y'all, I am still working on my retie. And by still, I mean, I have not worked on it since uh, I did our last live. So, I have not worked on it since since whenever I did the live that I can't remember. Oh, Monday. I just haven't had time to work on it. I did a few more, but I still have a part at the top and a section at the bottom. So, I'm guessing it's going to take me about two to three hours left that I have to do on my retie. But yeah, hopefully you'll get the results of that soon. This is the final look. Everything is put back to place. Trying to straighten up the camera here. But yeah, everything is put back to place, back to normal. And now I can finally rest and finally go to bed. Until next time, adios.